Yeah. Why? I don't know. It normally happens, but a few more this time. A little more than usual. Greetings, friends! Not too long ago, we got 30 chicks from Murray McMurray Hatchery. 15 Red Star, 15 Black Ocelorps. And shortly after that, we received 30 ducklings from Murray McMurray too. And we were so happy, I was so pumped up, the day that I got the phone call from the post office saying, your ducklings are here. So we were super excited, Sayla and I hurry, got to the post office, right as it opened, and bam, there was a line all the way from the door to the front counter, and we had to wait to get our ducklings. And then we finally got to the counter and were able to get our ducklings. Thank you very much. You too. When we got the chicks, I let Sayla have the opportunity of carrying them out to the truck. But this time, I wanted to turn. So I was going to be the one to carry them out there. Got them into the truck and I had to peek in and look and see how they were doing. But one of the things that I noticed is that they were really extra chirpy and moving around a lot. So from having ducklings and chicks before, I could tell they really, really wanted some water. Sounds like you guys are pretty thirsty down there. Keep, keep, keep it away. But I didn't know how long it had been since they had water. The containers that were in the box were completely empty. So I hurried home as quickly as we could. Then we got home, I quickly got out of the truck, grabbed the box that they came in water. and hurried up to take them up here to the brooder so that way they could have some water and be introduced to the chicks. And the whole family gathered around as we were introducing the ducklings to the chick. <laughs> what is it in the box? Hello. You don't know what's in the box? Open it. Open it. Open it, Daddy. Open, open the box. And I was a little nervous because the chicks are a week older than the ducklings. So I was afraid that the chicks might beat up on the ducklings. But in fact, it was actually the other way around. The ducklings were definitely making sure that they got the water that they need and they weren't letting the chicks get in the way of their water. We're going we're to get them some water. This won't be where we keep it. We'll let them just kind of see where the water is. Come on, ducklings, get you some water. What do you think, Micah? You like the duckling? Uh -huh, I like to get in. You want to get in there with them? Uh -huh. <laughs> Are they cute? Yeah, little duckling was harassing the chick. It, it was pecking its leg. Uh, Sai, you want to introduce them to the food? Show them where the food is. A couple of them are starting to eat, but show them where the food is. Show them where the feed is. Here we go. And as Sayla was finishing taking each duckling out of the box, we did notice that the last two that were in there, one had died and one was not doing so well. I hope we get four more. We have two. One looks like it's all the way dead. And then one not doing so hot. Sometimes that happens. Actually, it happens almost every time. We've hatched eggs before and uh, it's happened. So it's part of the process. Lately, the temperatures have been pretty cold. But thankfully, when we got the ducklings, the temperatures were really warm. So it was really nice to come back outside and check on them in the brooder throughout the day. But regretfully, we did lose a few more ducklings. Did some more die? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It normally happens, but 
more this time, a little more than usual. But uh, we continue to check on them throughout the day and even a couple times at night. And thankfully, we didn't lose any more. And the next day that we came to check on them, we just had to do a few things to manage the brooder. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the brooder here, give them some new shavings, some new water, and some more feed. So, and Taylor just wants to get in there and just play with them again, I'm sure, right? Yep. <laughs> Hello everybody. All right. The, the ducklings are huge. They have gotten a lot bigger. One of the reasons why I got chicks before the ducklings is because the ducklings tend to grow really fast. So they are pretty much caught up with the chicks even though they're about a week's difference. All right, Sal, so the first thing we do is we're just gonna add some more shavings to them. Let's go ahead and just start filling it up. Got some bare spots and uh, keep it sanitary for them. And I'm gonna give them some more of this feed here from our friends at Barrier Meal. Non-GMO chick starter. Chicken, 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 chicken. There you go. All right, Sayla, could you give him some more water? Yep. Thank you. So the ducklings that we got are Welsh Harlequin, Black Indian Runner, and Gold Star. Some of the best three layers that Murray McMurray Hatchery offers. And we look forward to adding these ducklings once they mature and grow to the rest of our egg laying birds that we have here on our farm. And we sell our eggs to our customers as well as we consume them ourselves. So it's really nice to have good eggs on the farm. There it is. All right. Thank you, Sayla. All right, now I know what you want to do. You want to get in there with them, don't you? Yep. All right, since it's warm, we can leave it open just for a little bit, and I'll let you hop in there, play with them, interact with them, and just enjoy them. Look at what we have here. So it has been three weeks now since we first received the chicks and about two weeks since we received the ducklings and the kids have been absolutely enjoying them and there's been a couple times especially on the warmer days where they've taken them outside and just had an opportunity to play and just watch and observe them. Oh my goodness, Daddy. So good. 
Our kids really enjoy animals, and there was one day where Josiah had this lizard right on his arm. Wow, that's pretty cool. I got that. I got one on me yesterday. Why are you staring at me? That is pretty cool. Well, regretfully, the temperatures are back to being colder again. And actually this year, it has so far, has been colder than normal for us. But the ducklings and the chicks are doing just fine. In fact, the ducklings are actually even hardier than the chicks. But I bet you're wanting to see them, right? Come on. All right, so we've been adding some extra layers of insulation for them. So we'll get that off, it warm. Alrighty, and then another thing that we've added. So I went ahead and put an electric heater in here. So it is really warm and cozy for them in here. Oh. And here's one right here. Oh. So cute, aren't they? <laughs> like, what are you doing? You're not sailor. Put me down. <laughs> so, as you can see, the ducklings and the chicks are doing just fine. They're happy, they're warm, and they're healthy. And it's just so nice to have new life on the farm. And there's something about having life on a homestead and on in an environment in general it just seems to to make everything lively to feel good and it just makes your heart feel warm and good and cozy when you see these little animals all over the place so if you want some more insight on all i do to set up the brooder for ducklings check out this video right up there as well as i want to let you know that we're planning to do a live stream the last sunday of this month and we have a number of things that we want to give away we appreciate you all and we want to give back in as many ways as we can and during this live stream we're going to do a giveaway so make sure you tune in for that live stream and we're going to let you know soon on the exact time well that's it for now make sure you stay tuned to see how these ducklings and the chicks grow to be introduced and integrated to the rest of the flocks that we have here on the homestead that's it for now, and as always, stay strong and grow on. See you next time.